What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Well, I noticed that Chainswap has been picking up some pretty damn good momentum over the last day, up around 15% if I do remember correctly, yep, 15 to 13% over the last 24 hours, leading a lot of you to wonder what's going on and why is price is starting to move, especially after the last month or so, it's kind of just had that steady downtrend, that post-launch downtrend that most cryptos do have. So as I mentioned before, today what I want to do is just give you an update on some of the things that it's done, some of the major updates that have come out recently, some huge milestones they've reached, and much more and so with that in mind let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video so what we can see here is they've honestly had a ton a ton a ton of good news come out recently now my whole thing especially whenever it comes to chain swap is that you guys remember right the whole goal of something like chain swap is to completely and as much as possible build out their utility build out their network and build out their partnerships if they're capable of doing that they're able to take something like this create a ton of revenue take that revenue re-inject it back into more development re-injected back into the community re-injected back into the token and continue to do better because if you don't remember then for a quick update chain swap is a company that brings people the ability to swap cryptos across multiple different chains whether it's evm or whether it's solana or whatever it may be they give you the ability to swap again across chain which is why they're called a chain swap and so as you can understand now the ability to be able to get as many of these partnerships as possible on board as many tokens and chains as possible will allow them to continuously generate as much revenue as possible which ultimately is what would be the best case scenario for a company like this one so as you can see here they have come out with partnership after partnership of course you can see here that they had defender eth they had another one recently which was ATOR, a-t-o-r another partnership and the cool part about it is what you can see from these types of partnerships, they're also building their own community because you can see the amount of gauge engagement that these things get, right? 24,000 views across both of these posts with a ton of engagement. And what I like about that is a company like this, what they can do is tap into other communities, right? So they can go to the Defender ETH community or they can go to the ATOR community and get their name in that community and likely bring people from that community into their own community just by partnering up with them and offering and listing their token on the swap itself. It's a beautiful way to be able to grow out the network without having to do that much marketing in general now on top of that another thing that i really really like to see is the fact that they have now continued to develop their actual swap itself so you got to think as i mentioned before as they generate revenue what do they need to do one of the key things that they need to do is continue to develop the platform because eventually someone's going to take their idea or you know someone's going to come up with a similar idea and then they're just going to be another one of those crypto companies that just does what everybody else does right and so on top of being able to go out and get partnerships and networks they can't get distracted from the fact that their company itself still needs to grow and they're clearly not getting distracted by releasing this news what you can see here is that their intra-chain swap is now live they say with chain swap you can effortlessly trade across all compatible and now within the same blockchain making it your go-to one-stop dap for all trading so before you had to kind of swap from say like binance over to ethereum or ethereum to matic or arbitrum or optimism whatever it may be right but now what they're allowing you to do is a swap intra-chain so you can swap one crypto on bsc for another crypto on BSC. And you would think, of course, well, obviously, you know, that's what most swaps do, but their main focus was getting the cross-chain compatibility out and then, in, you know, um, releasing the interoperability as well. So clearly by doing that, that allows them to be much more applicable to most crypto investors, not just the niche few that wanted to go cross-chain as well. Now, because of a lot of these things and because of the news that they're releasing, because of the updates that they're releasing, because of the partnerships that they're releasing, they have been on fire. I mean, absolutely on fire. You can see here from an update that they posted before. Their last, since their last update, they had surged past $1.2 million in cross-chain swap volume with over 680 unique users and 780 trades. And if you do the math on that, those are big trades. Those aren't just small people. Like those aren't little minnows in the pond. Those are some probably, you know, like sharks and dolphins. Those are people who are trading a decent amount of money to be able to get up to 1.2 million in just 780 trades. And they go ahead and say that that's just the beginning. Same chain swap compatibilities were then on the way. And now that they're released, this has gone up even more now because of this of course one of the key aspects of their utility is that as they continue to get more swaps going generate more volume and generate more revenue they will consistently buy back and burn the c swap token itself what you can see here is that they have reached a milestone
milestone of $1.5 million in C-swap buybacks and burns in true marine spirit. They burnt it. And then what you also have to remember is on top of the buyback and burns, they also re-inject some of that revenue into the liquidity and back to the holders because, of course, there is a revenue share functionality with the token itself. And so because of all of these things that they're doing, because of the updates that they're dropping, the partnerships, the networking, the development, and much more, they're consistently gaining much more momentum. And now that all of this news is dropping, that's the reason why I believe, although, yes, their price has been down over the last few weeks since their launch, which is normal, especially with the rest of the market, I do think that they could really start to pick up some momentum at some given point. And so I have actually added more to my bag. You know, you guys know, we were buying this thing really early before this pump ever even happened, right? And now, of course, with the pump, we're like, oh, you know, maybe we'll just kind of play it by ear, just kind of see what happens. But now that we're down to some of these lower levels and they've released some of these big pieces of news, they have much more news on the way. They have things like the privacy swap. Let's actually go over here, enter that, which you can see here. They have this bad boy that they're working on right now, privacy swap. This is another thing that's going to bring even more momentum, bring even more people using the platform. With all of these things, developments, networks, partnerships all on the way, I think that they could really start to catch back up to some of these previous highs and so i am going to continue to dca into this thing a little bit and dca into my utility bank so i just wanted to give you an update on all of the networking updates partnerships and much more that they have brought to the chain recently and i'm really excited to see what happens next so as we do go forward and as of course they do have more clusters of news and updates and things like that i will update you on how they go so if you of course do enjoy these videos you can always let me know easily and simply by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel if you are new and i will see you all next time peace out everybody